Hello everybody! Today we're going to be opening up a new hyper crate of cartel packs and today's is the oppressor pack and I'm actually wearing something really cool today. This is my official outfit for Knights of the Eternal Throne. Um, I'd heard that in this expansion you'd possibly be making your way towards the throne in uh, where Emperor Valkorion used to have, and then it was Arkin, and then now it's uh, somebody else. Won't do do too many spoilers, but I wanted to wear something that was both militaristic uh, for my troopers' past, but also something you might see the Alliance commander wearing. So I've got some serious cape going on, got some shoulder pads, and I was so excited uh, for Chapter Two when you go meet uh, a figure of power, and I definitely felt like I should be wearing something that <laughs> matched it. But enough about my outfit because it's not a cartel item. This is the Oppressor's pack and this isn't actually the newest pack. This is one back and I remember seeing the main armor that you get from it, this big blat set and I was thinking it was really cool. Plus there's a mount that you can get from Voss which is extra cool because Voss is where the first chapter of the new, the new chapters are set. So the newest one is the Eternal Command pack and I'm thinking I might go open up one of those too later. What do you guys think? All right, let's get this show on the road. There's, I don't think there's anything specific that I wanted, but I can't, I can't remember what was actually in there. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> grand chance cube, grand chance cube. Midnight racers, upper body armor. Oh, I love getting the chest pieces. I still really wish you could preview that. Right in that window. Let's claim it and see what it looks like. Eh. I, for some reason, I don't like the armors that have like a t shirt sleeve. They all kind of drive me bonkers. There's so many that have it though. Hey, there's the supplementary. Silver item. Advanced orange gold eviscerating crystal. That looks like a really pretty color. It's a kind of orangey gold. Ooh, oh, I think this is one of the ones. Oh, hey, look at that. What? That's a really cool look. I usually don't care too much about the mounts. That looks really nice. That looks like some kind of... It reminds me of Mandalorian designs, but the, the mount is a very old model and it reminds me of the ones you could earn by killing all of the bosses in open world or uh, doing all of the flashpoints once back in the day. The airtech ones. What was that other thing we got? It was a decoration, wasn't it? Here we go. <laughs> I'm. Oh, that's not working. Let's see. Try that again. Here we go. Oh, that's a uh, ten times more impressive. There. We should go look at that later in the stronghold. Whoa! What is it? Statue of the Righteous Jedi. It's a gold item, so supposedly it's really good. Let's see. Wow! Look at this! Oh, that's so cool. That's like on, on Tython you see those. I didn't even show them this decoration. What does this fit into? Oh, so it's only a centerpiece. I don't know. That wouldn't fit most of the strongholds really well. You've got Narshada, Corsant. Maybe drum and cost. I can only really see that being shoved into to Yavin 4. Another one of those crystals. Crimson Raiders lower body armor. That that's just a pants, so whatever, but that uh, chest piece looks really cool. It reminds me of I think one of the green havoc squad armors. I wonder what the really, really rare item for this one is. Crimson Raiders upper body armor. Hey, that's the one I was just talking about. 
let's take a look at that. We can go in collections. You guys have told me this about 10 times. I can go in collections and not have to actually open the pack. So let's actually do that for once in my life. Oh, get off the speeder. Oh, that, oh. Well, except for the gloves that go out to there, the chest piece itself looks really good. I want to see that just by itself. Yeah, that's that's okay. It's like one of those trooper armors that isn't so uh so troopery, you could say. Let's open another one. We've got twenty. I think this one had twenty-four. <laughs> well, we've got another perilous pants. Uh Oh, that doesn't look like a blaster rifle. It looks almost like a sniper rifle. Oh! That's really nice looking. I usually don't like a lot of the blaster rifles. I've been sticking with the same one I've had since probably since the first expansion. I think maybe the second one. That one looks really neat. It's got a little tiny... It's measuring something. I don't know. It's measuring how many ghosts are in the area. Imperial Starfighters. Oh, yeah, we already got one of those. Whoa, super cool. Let them go. Frenzied Warriors Supplementary Body Armor. Oh, that looks really neat. But I got the, like, wrists. The bracers and the belt, probably. So, boo. Oh, super cold item, go! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. The, I don't know, I've been calling them newborns, but I have like a bunch of tiny pet versions of them, and whenever you run around boss, you see them. I don't want to open the rest of these, this is so cool. I think that's, uh, that's one of the, hey, and it'll have a buddy. Oh, that's cool too. Okay, okay, hold on here. Oh, do I... <sighs> I feel like I never... I, I got one of the cool companions, the specialty ones. I don't think I ever ended up using it. Let's, let's take a quick look at my companions here. I don't even know if I used it on this character. I had... Here we go. Let's start with that. Close the 6,000 windows I got. So this guy is Jinx or Ginx, I'm not quite sure. But uh, I, I got him because I was like, hey, giant frog, that's cool. I should get him for my bounty hunter. And then I, I just like having the humanoid companions because they sometimes talk to you and show up in cutscenes. And this guy was really weird during some of my cutscenes. He was like either not there or sometimes standing on tables and stuff like that. But <sighs> that one's really cool. Can you guys imagine like what kind of character it would work especially well on? I can totally imagine a bounty hunter having that thing. Oh, let's get a better picture of it. Let's see. Miscellaneous companions. Yeah, there we go. There's a whole bunch of them now. They're, they start off with just like Treak and uh, HK and now you can get so many. Oh, I didn't even think I've seen this one yet. This is the one I really wanted when it first came out. The Act Dog and this next suit here. And what's the one we just got? Mivor. Oh, and there's another one of those little quests for it. Oh, I think I'll just hold on to it for now. And, oh, I did, I did want that mount. It's a Kaibuk. I think it's a, it's... Bipedal ungulates native to Kashyyyk. Kaibuks could be trained as loyal riding animals. <laughs> Oh, watch this. I don't even have my ability showing this interface. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, that 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 was not it. This is something else I bought. This is the Christmas Tauntaun. But apparently I couldn't tell them apart. Let's try that again. Oh, I like this one. Whoa. 
It's oh yeah, I guess I guess bipedal means it uh only walks on two feet. What are those little little hooves it's got in the front? Is it just for punching? It can't can't like hold anything with those. Like what if it wants to drink some hot chocolate? It's not certainly not gonna be able to hold on to that cup. Look at those freaky little eyes. Uh, this one's pretty cool, actually. I don't, I don't know if there's, is there any others? Let's see. Kai buck. Where's, where's that from in the universe? Okay, so there's a prairie kai buck. And that's the brown one, and the one I've got is a savanna. Mm. Oh, mine's worth less, but it looks cooler, so that's good. Oh, I'm really curious about that Mewvor now. Mewvor. Let's see. What exactly is it called? Oh. Is it called a Mewvor? Because there's none for sale. Uh, what? Did I get something really rare or is it called something else? Oh, Mavor. Okay, that's... Did, did, did Bioware... Okay. These are the little guys that I have, and they're little pets, and I'm pretty sure they're called Mewvors on Voss, but this thing is called a Mavor. Maybe the babies are just Mews, and the mamas are Moss. <laughs> okay, they're, they're actually worth quite a bit. They go for six to seven mil right now, and they're, they're, they're not in their prime. They didn't just come out either. Let's let's go on seventeen. Grand chance cube. <gasps> that okay, so in our guild someone decided to set up a secret Santa and I actually got the little pet that just came out there. And this is this is the message that they sent me. They sent me a bunch of little each each gift in in a different message where's the pet one last but not least third box has some of the galaxy's most rarest creatures from my own personal collection the eternal commander herself will envy you hey that's me they're gorgeous fearless pets that will accompany you anywhere and everywhere no matter what they're small and fragile things so please take good care of them and and i took care of them by immediately throwing them into my inventory and mashing the right click button on them they would they were really cute. I was surprised to get some pets I hadn't gotten yet. I guess I just haven't kept up with the most recent packs. <laughs> oh. Oh, that looks really nice. That looks like something I'd actually wear on this character like a lot of the armor is like they look cool but but I mean my character is pretty much a, a trooper at heart oh collections collections don't need to put in my inventory security hey here it is this one's actually a cool one too it's not the one we're looking for it also just has security in the name uh it's it's got some really nice details but uh not digging the giant pouches slapped on there. How they would look really good on a on a male character has more of a flat chest going on. Oh, but it's got the dreaded t-shirt look. I don't know. I don't know if I can order this one from T Fury. We just got that out. I'm curious what the Grand Chance Cubes will have because I've there's been more packs added since I last opened them up. <laughs> That'll be our third set of those red pants. Oh, I think we've actually seen all the armor so far. Oh, this reminds. Oh, this is. Uh, Way back when, there used to be very rare items you could only get dropped from certain bosses and there was no cartel market at all, couldn't craft this item, it didn't drop from bosses, and people would be so excited, they, 
there was like a bounty hunter version which was called Hellfire. I don't know what this one's called, but I think it's it's along a similar vein. Let's see, Tast. I can spell really good. Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is gonna scare me for the next step forever. So if you've not seen this yet, this is the new Dark vs. Light system, part of the Galactic Command system in 5.0 with uh, Knights of the Eternal Throne and when the dark side wins, it goes, plays the music and shows the big bar. It has something similar for light side too, but I don't think there's a way to turn it off. I mean, I want to know when light side's victorious, because then I should use boosts and stuff like that, but... Oh, that means there's a, there's light side bosses, aren't there? Uh, I'll be right back. So apparently it's really hard to get a group together for those bosses because you gotta you gotta get a group of eight to sixteen. You gotta find the dark versus light bosses. And you also gotta fight them in one shot. So I asked my guild and apparently we've never even gone after them. I've seen some people fight them in the, on Reddit and stuff like that, but uh, uh not an easy one to just hop into, I guess. So time for twelve more packs. <laughs> I'll just start an army of Crimson Raiders. Good news, I'll have a lot of companion gifts. Because Lana's only 41. And now I have the full set. I'd like to get the, the, the chest piece for that black one we saw earlier. Imperial Starfighter display. Apparently only one type of decoration in this pack. Ooh, okay, so this... Okay, I... Let me just open these. Oh! Double rug, 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 rug! I don't even know what this one looks like! Okay, let's look at the rugs! <laughs> My guild mates are just messing around in the background. Okay. Hulk out of despair. Whoa! Where'd that come from? Did I not notice that when I opened it earlier? That's a really weird looking... Okay, so if you see this triangle thing, this is from Oricon and the Dread Palace and the Dread Masters, but this Thing in the center here is just an imperial command computer that's upside down attached to the light so I don't know if I want to talk to the person who put together this uh, mechanical abomination <laughs> but <laughs> let's look at those other rugs Ooh. is that the right one because that's pretty that's like a circle kind of rug maybe a Voss kind of rug I'm not sure and oh, this is cool. It's a nice cross. I don't know where you'd put that. That'd look probably really cool in the in the drum and cost stronghold. But I wanted to show you guys. I got all excited because I'd seen the Republic rug, and I assumed that the Imperial one would be similar. And in our command deck, you know what? It's not our command deck. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We have the Republic rug. And if you want to see this. Um, this flagship, I actually did a whole tour. If you look in some of my other videos, just search flagship and you should find it. And I really like the Republic rug. It just looks so nice. Just giant Republic logo and you, can you hear the sound? A uh, womp rug. That's not what I'm talking about here. Let's open another pack. Hey look, it's my... We got the pants to that. Another one of those orange gold crystals. Next pack. Hmm. Cute little blaster. 
Oh. Uh, that's some more about chance cubes. They're they're fun to open, definitely. Then you miss out on new items. Some pants. I'll have close to the full set. That will be nice. Maybe I'll, I'll try this out on a different character. I've got... So, of my characters, I've got quite a few, but... Like, this is my main character, obviously. This is... You see her all the time in my other videos, but... Where is that? I don't know where anything is in this new menu. I hate it so much. <laughs> Where's my reputation? Oh, legacy. Here we go. And... Family tree. Here we go. We have old man... No, oh, well, I had to rename him when we changed servers, but old man disconnect, and I made him the oldest looking smuggler I possibly could. And uh, his story was that he used to work in imperial security or something like that, some civilian job for the military. And he, his wife also worked in the military and she was killed in a starship. It was the Republic military that did it, blah, blah, blah. He's mad and he wants to take revenge. So maybe you could wear that like security outfit. That would be, probably be pretty cool. More of those red pants. Definitely starting a red pants army. This really makes me want to decorate my my Droman cost stronghold. I've got another imperial rug. I don't know what I'd put in it though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's manifest destiny right there. Three imperial rugs, one for every room. I think they changed it so you can't get two chance cubes in a row anymore. That seemed very silly when I was opening them a long time ago. Pretty. Hey, a speeder. Hey, that's kind of like the one that I got for my my trooper. Um, the one that I was playing for Dark Forces, like, uh, let's see, mount, mount. Yeah, it's just a nice, it's simple one. Probably really nice for any Havoc Squad trooper. It's got some kind of, I don't know, Vossy design on the front? Something like that. Just, there's so many crazy mounts, like the Kaibuck I had earlier. But if you really want to immerse yourself, you're going to want something a little less insane at level one. Maybe also not have a giant frog follow you around that probably breaks immersion too. Go, oh, but, 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 but if we are speaking about giant things falling around. We have to take a pause in this video because earlier I showed you that Christmas Tauntaun mount. There is also, oh, I would have to go to the fleet. Never mind. Maybe we'll go later and I'll show you my, my special new companion that I got. Oh, this is the last one. Fine. We'll do this and then we'll go do that. And I'm starting an army of purple and red people. Oh, that was a really good last box to open. What? That's what I was saying I wanted earlier, the, the chest piece. Let's, uh, let's try that on. I bet you that's worth a 10. What is it even called? Frenzied sea lots something something. Frenzied warriors. There's probably like 10 things with the word frenzied in them. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Okay, so number one it has butt cape, my favorite feature of any outfit ever. Number two, it's got really nice texture. Like, like, look, you can see all these really fine seams and stuff like that. All these little tiny details. That's my favorite thing in the armors when they're not just like a, like a flat texture slapped on a 3D object. And like, look at the collar. I wonder if this is based off of anything. This would be great for any kind of 
Oh, this would be good for like uh, both a force user and not a force user because like a force user needs to be sneaky and silent and they use like their lightsaber most of the time but this would be really cool on the agent pretty much anything but like not a trooper maybe a bounty hunter if they favor a little more uh shadow hunting versus brute force oh this is this is really nice it I almost want to wear it on, on, on this character, but it doesn't really make any sense for her personality. She's a she's a trooper. I'm gonna I'm definitely holding on to this and I'll have to Oh, I got the supplementary, right? So I just need to go find go find the pants for it if I want the full set. So what is this? Frenzied Warriors. Let's go see how much that's worth. I'm I can only assume that's the rarest thing in the pack. Warriors. I can't spell. Okay, so we can get those pants for nothing, so let's get those right now. The sound of new mail. Oh wow, yeah. This is worth, uh, it's, I guess that marble was the thing that was the big ticket item, but this chess piece is worth 3.5 mil. I'm curious what else is in that pack. Probably see in collections, right, if you sort by pack. Pack and command pack. Nope, eternal command is the newest one. That was, this is the last of the last set. Let's see. Oh, you could have gotten this creepy thing. I've seen this in our guild bank. Oh, I, I bet people wanted this one from like the new Force Awakens video. Oh, right, and this is the this is the really crazy one. And it doesn't actually look that good on my character. Probably look good on a male character though. Let's see what else. We have to see most of these, huh? Oh, here's a mount with a flourish right here. What's that? I could get the oppressor title. Oh, I need it. I'm missing a barractile pet. Oh dear, <laughs> this is what I'm saying about the pets. Let's see. Grand barractile. Oh no, how am I going to afford 40,000 credits? <laughs> Let's take a look at it, because it's cute. There <laughs> we go. These things are actually really freaky. I don't like them very much. I really, really love the Varactiles. They're so cool, and they're from the movie, and then these little tiny, creepy, big-headed things are... Uh, I don't really like them. I wish they were just like miniature fractals. You know what I really like? Just like miniature banthas. They don't have to be babies. They just have to be tiny. Okay, let's go take a look at what I was talking about earlier. I'll be back in a bit. So I'm on the plate. I forgot to bring my item that I actually need to use to start this companion quest. But I just remembered there's actually something that was added not too long ago to the legacy perks that I have yet to buy. I think now is the perfect time. It's a legacy cargo, field cargo hold. So you can open your legacy bank like on the fly, kind of like the, the vendors or the mailbox. And it costs 2 million credits. So it's a huge credit sink, but I mean, I'm not exactly hurting for credits. And I have wanted this for so long. You can even upgrade it a bunch to make it uh, summonable more often. I guess if you have lots of credits, definitely, definitely worth the investment for convenience sake, less loading screens. Now I just have to figure out how to summon it. Assume it's in my abilities, eh? Hey, here we go. Oh, it takes so long to summon though. Hey, there we go. And other people can use it too. And here it is. Don't don't read the text so you don't know what it is. Hey, let's not talk in in hamsteries. I don't. And this is my new critter. Hi, Wampa. 
So I've heard people say this guy is huge and he really is. I don't think this is... I think this is probably the biggest companion in the entire game. I don't... I don't... Wow. Yeah. He's a really big fuzzy guy. I can't imagine like being out in the world and having this wampa guy come in and smash everything. Wait, is he a healer? Oh, that's ridiculous. Give me a heal there. <laughs> I remember way back when... Oh, that's disgusting. I remember way back when the devs were super intent on making sure everything was very lore and canon friendly and more specifically like f uh, role friendly like a dps should always look like a dps a trooper should always look like a trooper and never be wearing a dress and and uh, i don't think healing wampas would have fit that design philosophy well <laughs> i think that's gonna be it for the day um, let me know if you guys saw me to open up um, the newest Hypercrate. The... what's that? It's from a new set. Oh, no, no, we're not done yet. If you want to stick around, you can, because we have... We have... We have... Where are they? We have cubes to open. We have 12 Grand Chance cubes. So we can open those. And see what's inside. <laughs> Glowing eyes, gold. So you can stare down your wampa. Oh, oh, that's a that's oh, that's cool. No, this is a set I don't have yet. This is a really nice set. It's a very Jedi -y set. Just a cool looking mount. I keep wanting to click them. Intimidator armor set. I remember someone had that armor set way back in the day and I always laugh because the shoulder pads are like bigger than their character. <laughs> Antique Sakura Blaster Besh? Probably. Yeah, these ones actually look pretty cool but they don't- they're like worth like 2,000 credits. Star Cluster High Roller, gotta put that title on. <laughs> oh, Tersa Capital. That one actually looks pretty good for a garbage feeder. And I say that not because it's a bronze, but because that that's just the shape of it. Pretty sure I have this pet, but it looks really cool. Elegant loungewear armor set for when you really need to fulfill that cantina fantasy. <laughs> that cantina set actually no, I don't wanna look at that. That cantina set. So I was I was clearing out my stash of armors and I was just giving them away to my guild, just like first come, first serve, pick which ones you want. And obviously no one wanted that set. There's lots of nice, like good looking, attractive sets, but those ones are not not it. They're weird. Iraqi Falcon. I can have an army of Iraqis to send everyone on them can wear that red armor I got earlier. Oh, last one. Last one. Saber Staff! I already have all the Saber Staffs I need. So, what did I get? I got that really cool Frenzied Warriors chest piece. I got the Bavor that I still need to decide. I'm probably just gonna hoard it. That's a horrible, horrible way to be. Maybe I'll find a use for it in the future, but I don't want to sell it because then what if I want it later? This really cool statue that apparently doesn't want to show up. Really cool statue. Looks like it's from Tython. Ton of crystals. Dude, I was trying to figure out, do I have this one? If I claim it, will it tell me? Yeah, I've already used it before. I've got a wampa, but that's not from this. 
and yeah, the the Mavor and the this chess ace is a really, I'd say, pretty good pack. And oh, I got all those Sith rugs. So now I have to go decorate my stronghold. So I hope you guys are having fun in, in Knights of the Eternal Throne. I'm still actually working on the chapters. I decided to take a break today and, and do some video stuff instead. And so far I've really liked it and I'm looking forward to doing the rest of them. I hope you guys are having good luck with your galactic command crates. Bye everyone. Have a good night.